Hello friends. In this part, we will discuss how to integrate Google Login into this chat application. Here we will not discuss complete step-by-step -step process of integrating Google Account Login, which we have already discussed in Codeigniter tutorial series. But we will use that tutorial and make some required changes for use that source into this chat application for login using Google account. For this we have go to google login.php controller file and here we have go to login method. Here Google API has been used for login using Google account. Here user data has been inserted and updated in chat user table, which is created in Codeigniter chat database. So, here when user data has been validated by Google, and insert and update into chat user table, then after we want to get the user ID, which has been get from chat user table, and store that chat ID into session variable. For this here, we have write dollar user ID variable is equal to dollar this Google login model with get user ID method, and under this we have write dollar data ID variable. This method will return user ID from chat user table. Next. We have go to Google login model, and here we have make get user ID method, with dollar ID argument. Under this method, we have write dollar this, with database object, with select method, and under this we have write user ID table column. Below this, we have write dollar this with database object with from method and under this we have write chat user table name it will make select user id from chat user table next we have write dollar this with database object with where method with two argument in first argument we have write login open authentic user id and second argument we have write dollar id variable it will add where condition in select query below this we have write dollar query variable is equal to dollar this with database object with get method this method will make select query and execute that query. After this, we have write for each loop, and under condition, we have write dollar query variable with result method, as dollar row variable, here result method will return query execution result. Under this loop, we have write return statement, with dollar row variable with user id table column it will return user id which is output of this function now we have again go to google login controller class and after getting login user id after this we want to store login data and time in login data table for this here we have write dollar login data variable is equal to array. In first key, we have write user ID, and in value we have write dollar user ID variable. In second key, we have write last activity table column name. And in value we have write dollar current data time variable. So, here we have store data in dollar login data variable. Next for insert data in login data table, 
For this here we have write dollar login ID variable is equal to dollar this with Google login model object with insert login data method and under this we have write dollar login data variable. This method will insert login data in login data table and return login ID which has been stored under dollar login ID variable. Now we have go to Google login model and here we have make insert login data method with dollar data argument. Under this method, we have write dollar this with database object, with insert method with two argument, in first argument, we have write login data table name, and in second argument, we have write dollar data variable, this method will make insert query, and insert data into login data table. Below this, we have write return statement with dollar this variable, with database object, with insert ID method. This method will return last inserted ID. Now we have go to Google login controller class, and here we want to store dollar user ID variable value and dollar login id variable value in session variable for this here we have write dollar this variable with session class object with set user data method with two argument in first argument we have write user id and in second argument we have write dollar user id variable it will store dollar user id variable value in session user id variable below this we have write dollar this variable with session class object with set user data method with two argument in first argument we have write login id and in second argument we have write dollar login id variable value it will store dollar login id variable value in session login id variable now we have go this else block of this if statement and here we have write redirect method and here we have write chat so it will redirect page to chat controller index method here else block of code will execute when user access token has been given by Google API after validate Google login data, it will execute else block of code and it will redirect to index method of chat controller. Next we have go to logout method in which we have already removed access token data from session variable. Next we have to remove user ID and login ID data from session. So, here we have write dollar this with session class object with unset user data method and under this method we have write user ID so it will remove use ID from session variable. Same way for remove login ID from session variable, here we have write dollar this, with session class object, with unset user data method, and under this, we have write login ID, this method will remove login ID data from session variable. Next for make chat application in controller. We have already make chat controller in controller folder, chat model in models folder, and for C view file, we have make chat view file in views folder. First we have open chat controller, 
and here we have write construct magic function. This function will be execute when object of this class has been created. Below this, we have write parent class, construct magic function, it will execute parent class construct method code. And for load chat model when object of this chat controller has been created, for this here we have write, dollar this, with load object with model method, and under this, we have write chat model, it will load chat model, so we can use a this model class method under this controller class. After this, we have write, if statement and under condition, we have write not operator with dollar this, session class object, with user data method, under this method, we have write user id. This condition will be true, if session user id variable value is not set, and it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write, redirect method, and under this, we have write google login slash login, it will redirect page to login method of google login controller. So if session user id variable value is not set, then it will redirect page to login page, and user will not access chat application. Now we have make index method of this controller. This is root method of this controller class. And under this, we have write, dollar this, with load object with view method, and under this method, we have write chat view, it will load this chat view file in browser web page. Now we have open chat view file, and here we have write anchor tag, with ref is equal to echo statement, with base URL method, after this we have write google login controller, slash logout. And in anchor text, we have write logout. So, when user has been click on this logout link, then it will send request to logout method of Google login controller, and user will log out from system. So here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. Friends here. We have type base URL slash Google login slash login. Then on web page we can see image like login using Google account. So we have click on image. After click on image, page has been redirect to Google login page. And here we have enter Google login details like email address or phone number and password details once we have enter login credentials then google has validate login data login credential is correct then it will again redirect to chat controller index method And here we can see blank page on web page, with only logout link, by click on this link, we can log out from this chat application. So we have click on this logout link. After click on logout link, John Martin user has been log out from chat application, and again page redirect to login method of Google login controller. So, in this part, 
we have integrate login using Google account in chat application. In next part, we will start building chat application from search user for send chat request feature in this chat application.